Hard Lake Joe plays Yu Gi Oh! It's the Deck Exchange! But uh, I guess it, welcome, Internet, to the first episode, if we put it up, of Deck Exchange Challenge. That, that sounds weird out loud. Now I'm second guessing everything. Oh well, that's what makes it that's what makes it amateur. Anyway, if uh rules of the game, basically me and my friend Daniel here have each made a deck for each other, uh logging into each other's accounts, and uh without looking at them, we've now switched back over and we're going to duel each other with these decks that we've never played before and uh see how that turns out. You ready over there, Daniel? Oh, I was born ready. Was uh well, let's go ahead and pick a uh, card here. Damn it! So, so why did you go with Kaiba? You just feel like you like to be rich. Oh, I think everybody feels like they like to be rich. Oh. Oh, oh. Ka really? <laughs> Jesus! You just you did not give me a chance at all with this, did you? That's not true at all. You do have a chance. Ah, okay. Well, I'll go ahead and stand by here for a second. There we go. Let's play Heart of the Underdog. Is that supposed to be Joey? In the card art? He looks kind of like him. That would make <laughs> sense. And, uh, I'll go ahead and play, uh, Archfiend Marmot of nefariousness and I'll set a trap perhaps uh, that seems good very well let's, said let's see how you can stand up against that I don't know you're a nefarious marmot you know, my he's head got a pointy head. horn let's see what y'all gave me here I can't see what you gave me what I gave you Unfortunately. This is why you need video capture on your end, too. Then we can yeah. upload twice as many videos. People but get your view of things. Technical <laughs> experience on my end, which uh, I, I don't want to invest the time in to learning. Uh, at least not at the present time. Just gotta learn video editing. But I don't have a video editing software. Ah, well that's what the internet's for. Just gotta channel your inner Kaiba and save up some money to get some. For me, I went with the. I'll I'll throw attack the moon to the field. There is no moon for you to attack. And I will summon the Google Golem. Well, son of a bitch. And I think it's time to say bye to your nefarious marmot. I can't do what, what? Ugh, math. There we go. I'll just throw that into the chat window. I have no idea what that's supposed to be, but... It was halfway through <laughs> trying to type out my numbers, and somehow it switched over to the chat window. Uh, what the... Well, I guess that... I'll activate Archfiend's Oath. I'll go ahead and pay 500. This is kind of a cheap card to put in a deck that I have no idea what's in here. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume that it's another Archfiend Marmot of Nefariousness. So let's uh, excavate. And it is not. <laughs> to the grave then. And, uh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> In, in in all honesty, I, I didn't think that card through when I put it in there. <laughs> it's like, oh, i got to declare what I've gotten here, except <laughs> I have no fucking idea. 
Hmm. Just get me in the grave faster. I'll equip the malevolent nuzzler to my Google Golem. Uh, let's see. What the hell is the malevolent nuzzler even supposed to be? Uh, a green girl. No, but I mean, like, you know, you get Horn of the Unicorn and, like, Axe of Despair and all these ones that, like, okay, I get it, It's you're adding this onto them. Like, what, is this girl, like, riding on your shoulder, giving you extra attack? I, I guess, I, I don't know, I mean, she does have those long purple claws. I guess, but you're a giant fucking rock monster. I don't think Who's purple not- claws are really going to make that much of a difference. Nope. But... Ooh, I- I will resummon the Google Golem to give him 2100 attack. Along with the Malevolent Nuzzler, he is now at 2800. And let's see if you have anything to stop that. Math is for chumps. And I'll make it your turn. Let's see what you can do. Uh, oh, oh. Okay, well, let's see. I just drew. Uh. Fucking this thing. <laughs> I used Archfiend's Oath one turn too early. <laughs> uh, what does that say? I can I can draw one more card. Okay, that's good. Oh, uh, let's see. Stand by. Oh, well, that seems uh kind of nice. See, wait, you're warming wait. up to it already. Wait, what? Well, maybe not. Okay, that, that, I'm like reading this, I'm like, oh, this seems like an excellent card, and then I realize that, that no, no, it's not at all. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go, uh, did I already pay for, no. Let's go, let's assume you put three of these, uh, Archfiend Marmots in here. <laughs> Aha! No, not not quite. Uh, well then, go Archfiend Marmot, and uh, I'll equip him with the broken bamboo sword to give him an extra <laughs> attack, and uh, I'll just end it there. <laughs> there you go. You may have your giant Google Golem with your fucking malevolent nuzzler, but can you handle the marmot with a broken bamboo sword? Uh, I don't know. Look at those wings. Look at them. Just, there's terror in those wings. They're no, they're quite nefarious. <laughs> hmm. I think we'll, uh, just in case that face down of yours is something nefarious, we'll uh, set him. And then... I'll equip uh, my Google Golem with this mage power here. That's the, don't don't do that. <laughs> why why you gotta be that way, bro? Hey, how you much, built this deck. How much attack is that now? Like a million? Uh, well, hold on. Let's see here. He gets fifteen uh, for just three spells, uh, which means he's at thirty-six plus seven is forty-three. Minus 400? I should still be alive. Plus I got that plus zero. That always helps. Indeed, indeed. And just a break! Since you're no longer a normal monster. Just had to be greedy. That's true, I did, didn't I? Should have known better. You made this deck, didn't you? Probably the only trap in here. Yeah, but I, I, I didn't think you actually drew it and would have set it. I figured you'd have set, you know, one of the junky spells I put in there for you. No. I well, play those spells. It's our end. Let's see. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> 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 I am just like, every other card is a fucking marmot. <laughs> oh, let's see here. Well, now you'll have two marmots. To Double the marmot. Yeah. Don't Double forget you got an extra deck there. Action. What can I go into? Sharks. Stuff. Um. 
none of this is anything I enjoy. Hey, I think I put a gotchi gotchi in there for you. He also gave me Digusto Phoenix as if I had any wind monsters. I guess he can attack twice. Um... You don't know that I didn't give you a DNA surgery somewhere in those 27 cards that are left? Well, I'll just have to go with my Lord of the Rings guts. The one card to rule them all. Get my Legolas on, which I think kills this. I'm going to assume so. I believe it does. It's the most attack of any of the <laughs> level 2 Ixies you gave me. Huzzah! Well, that is a tough pill to swallow. <laughs> and is that at the end of the damage tip? I should have seen this coming. <laughs> Both the marmots gone. And then and you had just grown to accept them too. I know. And it's like I can't even use Archfiend's oath because all three marmots are in the grave now. <laughs> So I don't have no idea. <laughs> uh, you mean you don't have any other monsters in your hand you could look for? No, not that I'd want to look for. <laughs> I'll summon the mouse the fighter. Bruce Lee mouse. And I'll go ahead and hit you for twelve. Just in case I have a face down don't want to have Jutsu Master in attack mode. Oh, let's, let's see, we'll reveal this. And I can draw another card. So I'll play down that guy. Oh, now I'm getting feedback. I can hear myself on your thing. You have some headphones or something? Uh, not near me. I can go get them. How did I suddenly... Okay. okay. Oh, oh, now there, it's oh, back again. Like, with a two-second delay. Yeah, if you could get your headphones. I'll just, I'll just sit here. What's sad is I could, like, make up a funny song, except for it'd be ruined by the reverb. A mysterious biological substance to create a supreme race of soldiers. They do not have the natural power of the other aliens, but they make stunning physical attacks. Probably Red Bull. What about Red Bull? I wasn't listening. It's not for you. It's for the audience to know. Oh, okay. If, if you want to see, you'll have to watch the show yourself. I'm part of this show, though. I know, but we need all the hits we can get at this point. So you decided to milk the sponsors with Red Bull? No, I decided to put things in there specifically that you don't hear, so even you have to go watch it. Oh, I understand hit. that. <laughs> Alright, go ahead with your uh, alien attack. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to kill this uh, tiny mouse. For fun no, profit. my perfect life points. Funny, because it says he's a fiery mouse, but he's quite obviously Earth-type. I think they kind of fucked up on that one. Let's see, what is this crap card you gave me? Oh, of course! <laughs> what else do I have here? Oh, fantastic. No level 4 Ixies. I think you only have one level 4 monster, so... Just just the one shock trooper? Three, three Archfiend Marmot. Oh, oh, <laughs> it's an Archfiend Marmot. Well, that would have been useful to know. <laughs> now I just feel silly. <laughs> oh. Let's see. I'm sitting here on an Archfiend card. 
I'm like, are there arch fiends in here somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Okay. I will activate Supervise and equip it to my Night Day Greffer. The Prilosec Knight. Uh, that, that just went over my head. No? Okay. Y you can edit that one out. I'll just replace it with the sound of, like, funk. And activating his effect, going to my end phase rather. Now I'll activate his effect. I will target this equip spell card. That you won't I'll be able to use. Because I'm going to fucking kill you now. I have a plan. I did not know that marmots were an archetype. Ah, I see. <laughs> You've got the other one. Yes. Yes, I've got the other one. <laughs> but I don't know. I guess... Yeah, what the hell? There we go. That's how That's how you do it. Uh, The obese marmot of nefariousness. Oh, I should have used Heart of the Underdog. I forgot. He was obese, and then I guess he ate that acorn, and it was evil, and it turned him into the archfiend marmot. He grew little wings. Turned less blue. Uh... Okay, then. Kill this fucker. There's too many geffers already. Greffer. Aha! On the rebound. I just noticed that the ritual I lost was for Fiend's Mirror. Huzzah! I oh. equipped that to your shock trooper. Uh, uh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I should have known better. I put that in there. <laughs> and now... My jujitsu master attacks your alien. Gets killed by just a break again. Oh, it does, doesn't it? Just a break. Can I have the day off? No, you can have just a break. Oh, and I guess I took a hunt. Oh, no. Wait, why is Dark World Shackles gone? Because it was a... Oh, you're right. Put that back on there. <laughs> I, I swear it's not my first time playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Now send it back to the grave, because I tribute for Summer School. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're welcome for that. Let's see here. Oh, oh just, dear. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm already in a... Well, whatever. Aha! Have at ye. And my obese marmot of nefariousness will attack as well. And since he attacked, he can't go... I'll just send another card. This really turned around. I thought I was so doomed at the beginning. Clearly had the advantage with all these equip cards. Could have paid 700 or 500 and put Nuzzler back on top of your deck. I could have, couldn't I? Yep. Important to read your cards. <laughs> who, who I say, needs, who? still remembering that I didn't have the Archfiend. <laughs> Alright. I'll activate Vylon Matter. Huh, like it matters. Returning these three to my deck. What the hell is that even supposed to be? I don't like... know, but it's destroying your summoned skull. Oh, oh. Damn it. <laughs> Looks like an orb wearing a vest. I'll set that and end my turn. Do your worst. Okay. Oh I will tribute my marmot. No, for not a second one. summon skull. 
I shouldn't have given you those. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Definitely a big attack. Uh-oh. Still no traps. None that I can use. <laughs> Pretty sure I only put one trap in that deck. The rest of it's just like equip spells and stuff. I'll equip the Dark World Shackles to your Summon Skull. I'll just tribute it for another Summon Skull then. Fine, whatever. I don't even... Uh, let's see. There's a hundred. And then I'll use uh, Archfiend's Oath. Pay five hundred and say Summon Skull. Damn it. Relinquished. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? At least I got him out of the way. Um... Well, I guess I'll do that then. Could that be perhaps another obese marmot? No. <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't hide that shit. My <laughs> obese marmots are on display for the world to see, Daniel. That that was the idea behind the deck. Was to put beast marmots in defense mode? Oh yeah, you take uh, 500 from my shackles. I take 100. No, it's during oh. each of my standby phases. I already took 100 during my standby phase, because that's how much I thought it was. Well then... Time to pull some Yuki shit. So uh, of duty! That's not good. I send one normal monster I control to the graveyard, a special summon one monster from either graveyard and equip it with this card. I'll equip Google Golem. Because I have not yet normal summoned, I will Gemini summon it to give it 2100 attack. Entering my battle phase, I attack you directly, I win, thank you. Not so fast. I can offer a draw. <laughs> I will not accept it. I will, however, call an admin. No. You can't call an admin in an unrated game. I can try. Very well, sir. Your marmots have won the day. <laughs> Somehow. Only because I stole the own monster. My own monsters. Oop, don't look at what I got. Let's just continue. Doop loop doop 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 do. Will you go first or second? Like, that's why I picked Tristan, you know. That's his face. Oh, that's my face when I just won. Like, what? Uh, what? <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh, this, these again. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know if that means I can draw two cards, or if I draw a second monster, I can continue to draw. In either case, let's try my luck. Archfiend Marmot. Labyrinth Wall. <laughs> uh, shock Trooper then. Attack. Oh, I can't attack. Well then, I'll set. There you go. Oh dear, he's got a good opening there. I know. I mean, when you start with Labyrinth Wall in the grave, how can you lose? I mean, at least I didn't draw that. It would have been nigh useless. Uh oh. I'll, I'll summon this guy. But furthermore, I'll equip him with this thing. Well, shit balls. Shit balls indeed. Ah, uh, even though my sword was bigger. 
But you forget, my guy has not only a sword, but a flaming axe in the other hand. Don't really think those are flames. His arm is on fire, therefore it will encompass the axe in fire. Is that fire? Huh. I always thought he was just, like, skateboarding and sticking his hand out the window. Oh, well then. <laughs> Let's see your nefarious marmots get out of this one. Nefarious marmot, save me! Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> My nefarious marmots are not very useful. They're nefariously unuseful, actually. I'll summon Chuski, the mouse fighter. Chuski? Now I will attack you directly. With flaming axe arms and Chuski. That guy just comes in with like a huge axe, annihilates me, and then the mouse is just like, Yeah, and I'll kick you too. Son of a whore. <laughs> Nefarious marmot! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> well, I equip broken bamboo sword, and then I admit defeat. <laughs> Fucking had two of these. I still haven't seen the thing that it's it ritual summons. <laughs> I'm starting to think you didn't put it in the deck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that mean. It's like, yeah, you know, we're supposed to make these kind of fair. You're like, nope, I'm just going to be a dick. I'm just going to give them all ritual spells, no monsters to summon them with. <laughs> you get you get all polymerizations. <laughs> oh, now this is... Uh, uh, well, I guess it's not a good hand, but it's a hand. <laughs> uh, let's see, I'm a gambling man. Okay. <laughs> Show me a nefarious marmot. Oh! Survey does not agree. I'll Show, Show me Picard's, Picard's flute. <laughs> I, I was in the survey. Do, 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 do. Ooh, I'll bring out the rock breaking old guy. And he'll attack. You couldn't possibly survive that. No, I forgot about him! <laughs> Except you take no damage. That's true. And then he goes to attack. He's like, no! <laughs> it's funny, because whenever I explain to new people how, like, a, uh... Like, why you take damage when you fight in a f defensive position monster... Yeah. I'm like, it's like punching a wall. Like, you won't die, but you'll still hurt your fist. But he literally doesn't, and the picture is of him punching a wall and not hurting his fist. He's like the best example of that. Uh, well, I'm glad I milled the one, because I had the immediate second one right there. Uh, I'll just go ahead and shift him back to defense. <laughs> yeah, search Show for me the nefarious marmot. Ah, oh, obese marmot. <laughs> Son of a whore. <laughs> I do not say that with the same conviction as Killface, unfortunately. Need to work on my announcer voice. I guess you could just keep attacking it and switching it to attack position. I could. And I shall. After you summon a fucking mouse. <laughs> now... Monk Fighter attacks your big shield. Kicks my big shield. He gets startled. He's just like, whoa, whoa gotta go to attack. And, now and then he gets mouse. kicked in the face by a mouse. And that will end my turn. His cards have become so silly. It's like... 
I try to think of how this would work if they had the animated duels now. Hmm. And that whole exchange is just, like, ridiculous. Okay, let's see. Um, Archfiend. Matt. Oop. <laughs> thing. Mill. Damn it! <laughs> well, then. Yeah, he's trying to bluff me with those broken bamboo swords, everybody. Those aren't, those aren't, those aren't bluffs. Those are legitimate traps that I just, I won't feel like using them this turn. But I assure you, they're traps. Sure, sure. If you don't believe me, you'll just have to watch the show. I like how my uh, target audience is just you. I, I, will, <laughs> I will fortify my offensive line. I now have a rock golem, an old rock-punching monk, and a mouse. I think he carved the golem out of the rocks he was punching. Perhaps. So eat 15, 2,000, and 12. I think, I think I'm dead. Yep. No. No, you're still here. Yeah, but I can only use Archfiend's Oath once. What kind of life is that? You can only use it once per turn anyway. Might as well do it and see what it gets you. I could do one of two things. One of two things. I got the one of two things. You know what? I'm gonna take the high road. I'm gonna say... Black Illusion Ritual. Well then... Close. Go, obese marmot. <laughs> and then... Symbol of duty. <laughs> and then... Heck, I, I thought... Oh, you didn't have it in this one. Okay. Then I'll kill Google Golem. Not my Google Golem? Oh, I could have drawn again. Heart of the Under... Well, I guess it's good I didn't. Otherwise, I have nothing to use that with. Uh... Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> I equip it to your summon I stone. You. I hate you. <laughs> go eat shit from a hose. Rematch. How wood! How very wooed. I don't even have those kind of hoses at my house. <laughs> I have to get them installed still. Well, no, 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 that's not very nice at all, you know. Nobody should eat shit from a hose. <laughs> should at least have the dignity to eat it from a wheelbarrow like a civilized gentleman. Oh, fantastic hand. Just, just perfect. Just <laughs> perfect. <laughs> just absolutely. <laughs> Nefarious marmot. <laughs> <laughs> Son of... <sighs> <laughs> there we go. There's my life. You forced uh, me to gamble in this deck. Uh, no, sir. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's get you out of your misery quickly here. That That is a tough pill to swallow. <laughs> <laughs> this guy came in with a giant flame axe. Oh, uh, let's see. Squish, squish, squish. Ba -ba -ba. <laughs> Black illusion ritual. And now the Archfiend Marmot the comes out. The one time the Archfiend Marmot finally flips. One time, I was like, yeah, get the, get the Archfiend Marmot. It'll be, fucking, it'll be awesome. But you know what? It's okay. It is, it is A-OK. -okay. And, and to think, you were questioning my inclusion of the Archfiend's Oath in your deck. But why is this thing here? 
This has no purpose to be here. The arch fiend, like at least, okay, I kind of get you use him in combination. I just like, okay, symbols of duty. Send a normal monster to the grave. Give myself the arch fiend. Then Why would play you falling down there? so I can take control oh. of your fucking thing, thing, guy, thing. Then I'll equip him with broken bamboo sword, just cause. And then I'll attack for twenty nine hundred and four hundred. Now, if you could just go ahead and equip him with with mage power, then this would be done. Oh, and I guess I gotta take eight hundred. Why would you take eight hundred? Oh yeah, because of that thing. Yeah. Like, it's already got a cost, I have to pay 800 but then you couldn't even give me, like, a decent Archfiend. You had to give me, like, the weakest, <laughs> most pathetic Archfiend imaginable. This thing wishes it was Beaver Warrior. <laughs> it has dreams in the night, flying off in its little wings. Hmm... I will start by equipping the Evocator with Dark World Shackles. Okay. Next, I'll summon my Monk Fighter to the field. And then I attack and kill your Evocator. Let's see, 1,200? Oh. Well... I got one more shot at this. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Black Illusion Ritual. Hide behind your acorn. That doesn't scare me. He doesn't have an acorn. Oh, he does have an acorn. I thought they was just fat. <laughs> I just assumed he had a shiny belly and like buck teeth. Hmm. Let's see what you gave me in my extra deck here. You've actually got a good extra deck. Not like this piece of shit extra deck I got over here. That you didn't need because this this deck is <laughs> I've got I got nothing. How I ever won that first <laughs> duel, I'll never know. Let's go ahead and end this. Unless you magically snuck in a battle fader. No. Nope, nope, nope. Let's see what my next card would have been. Well that that's that's pleasant. <laughs> Everything I want is just one card away. But I could have had that, and then who knows this whole... Yeah, I think this is a little better than our, our test duel. In that you didn't pick, like... <laughs> I think you went a little overboard with trying to get me, like, mundane stuff from, like, the first set. <laughs> Except for the one shock trooper. I mean, see, two ritual <laughs> monsters that have nothing to do with each other, and they're, like, not even giving me, like, a ritual that uses both. Like, you've, you've got combos, you got options. I've got a fucking guess, <laughs> and pay 500 life points to do so. You're, you're just having a jolly time over there, aren't you? You could say that. It's a pity we can't, like, do this from the same room so I could smack <laughs> you upside the head. That would just be fantastic. Oh, eventually. Eventually I'll come over and we'll do it at the same place. <laughs> you can't smack me upside the head. <laughs> Labyrinth wall, or... <laughs> See, you gave me the labyrinth wall, too. <laughs> it's like... You know, make a, make a deck with, like, Labyrinth Wall and, like, Shield and Sword and stuff like that. 
<laughs> give me give me a chance to win somewhat. <laughs> you did win. You won the first duel. Yeah, but only because I stole monsters from the deck I made. <laughs> <laughs> and you have an extra deck. That yeah. When was the ever? I never got out more than one monster. Well, Except for the not... two marmots that you immediately <laughs> sent back to the deck. It's not my fault you can't summon out more than one marmot at once. Wait, wait, wait. One second. I just noticed you gave me a fire fist that says two fire monsters. <laughs> I don't have a single fucking fire monster in this entire deck. I also gave you Tycosto Phoenix. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like, okay. At least... At least he can attack for 1,500, which is more than the Marmots have. He can use the effect on himself. That's, that's like, more useful than this. But this, this is, like... Well, I, I guess... I gotta hope that you summon two level 3 fire monsters and then use Archfiend's Oath on both of them. That would be... If, if, if you would've... If you would have let me include some staples, I could have given you Creature Swap. Creature Swap <laughs> has not, and and never has been. Wait, that's for dead. It's not a staple, let's <laughs> just say that. It is in all of your decks. Yeah, but that's because I make fucking spirits. <laughs> Trolly shit. <laughs> that would be nice, though. If you could throw a creature, just one or two. I mean, I gave you acts of it's it's as much as a of a staple as like acts of despair is. Where it's like you know acts of despair, not really a staple, but if you want to increase attack, that's the way to go. You you were giving me crap the first time we tried this because of all the stuff I gave you that was too too good, and so I cut it all out. I didn't give you any draw power. I didn't give you dark hole. I didn't do anything. It wasn't too good. It was just like. Why give me draw power when, like... Like, Symbol of Duty was a great addition. That was, like... I, I used all sorts of combos and stuff with that. Archfiend's Oath, as much crap as I give it, it at least made <laughs> things interesting. Like, I had to keep guessing. <laughs> that I was, feel- like, the three jokes we had this this session was <laughs> me trying to guess Archfiend's <laughs> Oath and being off by, like, one fucking card. <laughs> In in, in in fairness, I truly didn't think about how bullshit that card is when you don't know your own deck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was I was going through the Archfiend stuff for the Marmot, and I'm like, oh, this is a good card. This will help him out. Not realizing he's not going to know what's in there. Like, this is like two or three. Like You can make a normal deck, make a deck <laughs> with all ritual summons, or like make an Arch... You know what's weird is, like, look at Acts of Despair. You see yeah, that, it's that an Archfiend. Top? Yeah. Like, you could make me, like, make an Archfiend <laughs> deck that doesn't have any other traditional Archfiends in it. <laughs> Just, like, all the stuff that happens to be called Archfiends. <laughs> Ugh. But anyway, good duel for tonight. I'll probably edit this tomorrow or whatever. Uh, uh, that, that, that sounds good. Yep. I would tell people to like and subscribe or whatever, but honestly, it's not worth it at this point. <laughs> like, I can't, I can't do that with a good conscience. Oh, okay, I, I, I'll do it then. Rate, comment, like, subscribe, and whatever other stuff YouTube has. Yeah, I don't fucking use YouTube. It's like, <coughs> where are you gonna put this? It's a niche service. No, I'm saying I don't like watch YouTube, so I don't know what kind of stuff they do. Mm-hmm. It's all about blip. Yeah. Advertise a service we're not even on.